another 200 mile trip down the M5 and we're in Newport in Wales at the Pill Harrier Sports and Social Club where you've got five intrepid Welsh nationals hoping to fight it out for another place in the final at Aylesbury on the 9th of December. We've got Martin Dyer, quiz setter extraordinaire. Reese and Gwilym have come down together from Bridgend, have you come from? Cardiff. Cardiff, yeah. flying the flag for the capital city. We've got Hayley, who you may have seen on the People's Quiz, and we've got Mike Labatt, who you probably missed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to play two rounds, accumulated scores, and then three people are going to contest the last round. Round one, as usual, is 12 minutes on the buzzer. There is one point for a correct answer. Lose half your points for an incorrect answer. And your first question is, your time starts now. Between 1485 to 1603, two or three queens and three kings. Which dynastic house? Number three, Gwilym Owen. Is it Tudors? It was the Tudors for one point. Rising in Angola, flowing along the borders of Namibia. Zambezi. Zambezi <coughs> is the correct answer, and that was Mark. Third question. If Steve Kidd is a total of nine letters, what is the maximum number of letters in a James Bond film actor's Christian and surnames combined up to 2007? Number two, Reese Davis. 14. I'm sorry, lose half your score, nothing. <laughs> Number Eleven. one, Martin Dyer. 11? No. 13. 13 is correct. I think there's Timothy three. Timothy Dalton. Them. Yeah. Shorter later. How many loons are there in a globe which is generally divided into loons? Each one broadly corresponds to a time zone. Number five, Mark Levat. 24. 24 is correct. Vermilion is a shade of which colour? Number four, Hayley Waters. Red. Red is correct. What lost its place as the most popular home video format in the week? Number four, Hayley Waters. Betamax. Not Betamax. Number three, Gwilym Owen. VHS. VHS is the correct answer. In the week 15th of June 2003, when DVD became more popular in the United States. Who defected at the 1975 US Open Tennis Championships? Number five, Mark LeBeth. Martina Navratilova. Is the correct answer, one point. In which year were East and West Germany? You Number three, Gwilym Owen. Is that 1989? I'm afraid it wasn't. Number Give five, Matt Labatt. Was it me? 1990. I got Mark on that one. <coughs> In which British city are the suburbs of Balsall Heath, Bartley Green, Birchfield, Boldmere, Bordersley Green, Bornbrook and Bourneville? Number five, Ma Mark Labatt. Birmingham. Birmingham is correct. <laughs> B. Great pass in before. Next one. Good luck, everybody. Kate, Jack, Hurley, Sawyer, Locke, Charlie, Jin, Son, Shannon, Boone, Desmond, Oceanic Flight, 815. Number five, Mark Lovett. Lost. Have to be. <laughs> Never seen it. Name any of the three game shows on which New Portonian Sarah Lang has won. Number four, <laughs> Hayley Waters. Poker Face. Poker Face is correct. One million, not bad. Also? I don't know. I don't uh, know anything in else. In it to win it. Yeah. And was it Brain Teaser? It was Wipeout. Wipeout. She's probably been on Brain Teaser yeah. as well. Every, She's every, been on everything. She only won on free, but <laughs> what a free to win. Yeah. Here we go, Mark. What is 14 squared? Mark. Number five, Mark. 196. Yes. Drummer, John Densmore. Guitarist, Robbie Krieger. Ray Manzanek on keyboards. And vocalist, Jim Morrison. Com Number four, Hayley Walsh. The Doors. The Doors is correct. I think that was early Doors. <laughs> yeah, very. 14. Which small fictional English town is inhabited by Bill Badger, Algie Pug, Edward Trunk, an elephant, and Rupert the Bear? Number four, Hayley Walsh. Nutwood. Nutwood is correct. Who represented the United Kingdom in the 1996 Eurovision Song Contest, coming eighth with her song, Ooh Ah? Number two, Reese Davis. Gina G. Gina G. Is I think we all remember Shame that on one. You. <laughs> We're going to Will for a roundup of the scores and the times after the next question. James Bond again. Who has been quoted as 10,000 to 1 to be the next James Bond? Number two, Reese Davis. Christian Bale. 
probably inside of 10,000 you want to lose yeah. half your score. Can I, fin can I finish yeah. this question off now? I'm lucky. No. Born May the 22nd, 1955, has had a cameo role in the film Train Spotting and on stage with Saint Etienne, but is better known for presenting the National Lottery. Number four, Hayley Winters. Dale Winton. Dale Winton is correct. No! Yeah, he was a I wouldn't have a better one, thousand to one, would you? Yeah, he was a game show host and they're talking about AIDS and what it, when he's going through cold turkey. <laughs> I've never <laughs> watched Bond again. Next question. Oh, sorry, Will, at the scars, please. Okay, yeah, Mark is in the lead with eight points. Hayley has four and a half points. Uh, next is Gwillem with one point. Reese has half a point and Martin has yet to score. Come on, Martin. Her mission in life is cleaning a window, and more importantly, hospitality, especially serving tea. Who occasionally falls off the roof of the parochial house on Craggy Island in the TV series Father Ted? Oh, what's the name oh, of what's that? Name? What's her name? Oh, go on. Number five. Mrs. Mrs. Doyle? Mrs. Doyle is correct. Well ah, go on. <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> that was quite inadvertent yeah. as well. <laughs> With a population of about 2,700, which township on the M74 waited six weeks for James Grady to score the last minute goal, ensuring their third consecutive league title a promotion to the SPL in 2007. Number one, Martin Dyer. Gretna? Gretna is yeah. correct. Well Didn't dare pass. Dan Martin. What a mine. Who was approached by the Philistines to discover the secret of her lover, lover's strength? Number four, Hayley Walton. Delilah. Delilah. Might have you get that. You're yeah. <laughs> Along with Yitzhak, or Yitzhak, and Shimon, by what first name was the joint winner of the 1993 Peace Prize, Mohammed Abdel Rauf Arafat Al Quada Al Hu? Oh. Yasser. Yes, Mark yes they, uh, Arafat did it, I think. Yasser. TJ's, a nightclub in Newport, according to some sources, is a place where who? Number two, sorry, number three, Gwilym Owen. Oh, is it. Um, <laughs> Come on. Courtney Love Come proposed on. to Kurt Cobain. From, yeah, I'm going to give you that. Oh. Kurt Cobain. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'll never look at that place the same. <laughs> we'll be going to Will for a roundup of the scars after this next question. The ridged gourd, or sponge cucumber, is often processed to leave everything but the network of xylem. Of what genus is this bathroom body scrub? Number four, Hayley Walsh. Lufa. Lufa is correct. Well done, Hayley. That's one point for you, and hopefully Will can give us the scores. Yep, Mark is now in double figures on ten points. Hayley has six and a half. Uh, everybody else has scored with uh, Gwillem on two, Martin on one, and Reese still on half a point. About 20 kilometres south of Mannheim, which city hosted its first Formula One event in 1970 and has, and has hosted the German Grand Prix 28 times in the last 35 years? Number five, Mark Lavitt. Hockenheim. Hockenheim is the correct answer. I should go for it. You'd go. <laughs> We've we, we got to play safe. Room on the Third Floor, Wonderland and Motion in the Ocean were all albums by which band who took their name from a, the Michael J. Fox character in Back... Number five, Mark Lavitt. McFly. Oh. Absolutely. The UK Representation of the People Act of 1928, the US 19th Amendment of 1919, and New Zealand's Electoral Bill of 1890. Number five, Mark Lever. Equal yeah. suffrage for men and women. Yeah. Uh, equal votes women for women, vote. he says yeah. here, so you can have that point. Well done, one point. His tears cure cancer. Too bad he never cries, ever. He has two speeds, walk and kill. He has counted to infinity twice. Number two, Reese Davis. Chuck Norris. It is Chuck Norris. Good answer. Oh, bravo. <laughs> <laughs> but they still don't understand that. Ted Walker, Texas Ranger. Right. <laughs> uh, you haven't Classic. heard about Chuck Norris, look him up on the internet. <laughs> Egypt, Israel, Syria, Iraq, and Saudi Arabia all border with which Hashemite kingdom? Number five, Mark Lavitz. Hashemite kingdom of Jordan. The Hashemite How many Hashemite kingdoms are there? There's several round here. <laughs> Next question. Good luck. Cressida, Corona, Carina, Salika or Salisa, and Supra. Number five, Mark Lavitt. Toyota. Toyota. Is it Salisa or Salika? I have no idea. I had one, didn't I? That <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I crashed it. I yeah, had one of them. Well. I got a white one now. A, a car. What, I always told you sex in, in the 80s is dangerous. Can't beat the picnic. We'll go to Will for the roundup after this. And the time check. Her two... Her 2003 biography, Honest, number four, four Arika Hayley. Johnson. Oh, I can't believe the amount of time I spend writing these questions <laughs> for you to get it. Well done, Hayley. She's Hayley. a trash queen. Brilliant. <laughs> One point. Will? Okay, with about uh, 
10, minute, ten minutes gone, uh, Mark is on 15, and with half of that score, Haley is second on seven and a half. Uh, Grillam is on two, Reese is on one and a half, and Martin is on one. The potato eaters. The Number four, Haley Walsh. Oh, uh, Sean O'Casey. No. Oh, Lose happy points, how unfortunate. <laughs> The Potato Eaters, The Harvest, Starry Night, and Sun... Number five. <laughs> Vincent Van Gogh. Yes, yeah. Hayley, did you know... I was thinking of the onion eaters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next question. Based at Regent Centre near Newcastle upon Tyne in Northern England, which company became a bank in 1997, entered the FTSE 100 index... <laughs> Number three, Gwilym Iron. Is that Northern Rock? It is Northern Rock. Northern Rock. <laughs> he became a father in 2004, had a UK number one in 1968, named his veteran English TV personality and singer who replaced Des Lynham. <laughs> number five, Mark Lavert. Des O'Connor. Correct, Des O'Connor. In the late stage of this traditional Swiss product, the bacterium P. Shermani releases carbon dioxide gas which slowly forms the bubbles that make... Number four, Hayley Waters. Champagne? Not champagne. Martin? Gorgonzola? Not Gorgonzola. Oh, I know. Bubbles which make hole in which... Can I... Oh, I can't, can I? <laughs> which popular cheese? Number two, Risto. Gruyere? No. <laughs> okay, oh, I like Emmental. one point one. I just said Gruyere, so I'm very happy. J, K and L... Number four, Hayley Waters. Radio oh. One. No, I'm sorry. Lose happy points. Jake NL, Scott, Richie, Jason, Abs, and Sean. Number two, Reese Davis. Five. Five is the correct answer. Awesome answer. Give the only year that Fred Perry won a Wimbledon men's singles title. Oh, Number shit. two, Reese Davis. Is that? No, it's. Reese? <coughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, it's Gwillem. Um, is it like something like 1936? It's correct, which was, all, which was also a perfect square. Awesome answer. <laughs> Good answer. And that's the end of part one, with Martin on half a point, Reese on 1.75, Gwillem on four, Haley unfortunately negging three out of the last six questions for just under one, and Mark Labette miles out in front on a comfortable 17. Yeah. We'll be back in just a minute with round two. Round two from Pill Harriers Sports and Social Club in Newport, Gwent. In the lead by a long chalk, Mike Lebet with the added incentive today of knowing his scores accumulate through to the next round. In this round, you get six points if you get the answer correct after the first clue. Unfortunately, if you get it wrong, you lose the appropriate amount. So each clue is worth one less if you get it right, and worth one more if you get it wrong, as it were. So, good luck. You've got only 12 questions this round. There's a chance to make hay while the sun shines or crash and burn. The first three people at the end of this round will contest the final. Good luck. Question one. Which sportsman was born in Rybnik, Poland? He was the son of a miner on the 23rd of the 3rd, 1973. For three points, he was six foot two tall. He cost 4.85 million pounds from Feyenoord. For two points, he was purchased by Liverpool on the 31st of... Number five, Mark Labbert. Jersey Dudek. Jersey Dudek is worth two it's points. Scary, well done. Yeah. Yeah, no. Here's your next one. Which New Portonians first broadcast was in 1946? Well, let's five, go Mark for it. Johnny Morris. Six points, a little round of applause. Yeah, it's a bit, bit, we've had that question so many times. <laughs> Not from me, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Morris, and I can save that question for some quiz somewhere in Scotland or something. Who has been described as a Lothario, having had at least 21 lovers, but also by some criticised as boring? Number one, Martin Dyke. Casanova? Not Casanova. I'm afraid that's Richard minus Dyer. six yeah, points. 21 lovers. <laughs> Married three times. 4th of August 1962, 29th of October 1973, and the 27th of July 1981. For four points, he featured or has featured on the video for a number one hit record. For three points, incredibly, he has lived at eight houses in the same locale. For two points, his first wife died when she electrocuted herself with a faulty hairdryer. Number four, Hayley Woods. Ken Barlow. Ken Barlow is worth two oh, points. Oh, the Hayley. same day as Charles and Ty. <laughs> what measures? 77 by 53 centimetres, dating from the early 16th century. It was an image of the wife of Zanobi. Number four, Hayley Waters. The Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa. Well it's tiny. Yeah. It's only that Have you ever big. been there? It's that is worth four points. Nice. Well done, Hayley. Good seven. Fourth question. Which city 
has a name which probably comes from a word for island. In 1871, it became the capital of a unified country. It lies on several rivers for four points, notably the Spree. Number five, Mark Levitt. Berlin. I've marked you down for it already. Berlin. You're on 30. Berlin. 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 <laughs> but it's a story behind it, I tell you. <laughs> For six points, name a statistician of repute and a committed feminist. Do you want to go? Oh, surely the two are mutually exclusive. <laughs> no. 1820, she was born, died in 1910. She was named after the city of her birth. Immortalised by Longfellow in The Lady and the Lamp. Number one, Martin Dyer. Forrest Buddingham? Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Statistician. City, yes, city that was her birth. first love. And it was yeah. Florence. By all yeah. account, so that was three points for well done, Martin. <laughs> Martin. Which TV series? Hayley. First shown on Channel 4 on the 5th of January 2007. It's a Golden Globe and Peabody Award winning American television dramedy. Created by Ferdinando Gaitan, he wrote the original Colombian telenovela. Well, let's go for it. Ready. Ugly Betty. Yeah, yeah. Ugly Betty is worth a good four points. Well Crap. done. What chain, for six points, is made up of two separate groups, Nord and Sud? For five points, originally owned and managed by the brothers, Karl and Theo Albrecht. For four points, they are the richest men in Germany. For three points, their first store opened in 1913 in Essen, in Britain. Number one, Martin Dyer. Aldi. Aldi is the correct answer, Martin. Yeah. And he's on a roll. And that was for three points, which puts Martin back on an even keel again, snapping at the heels of Reese and Gwillem. Which sportsman was born the 21st of October 1940? He played for the Northern Transvaal. He was Wisden Cricketer of the Year in 1965. Number one, Martin. Richie Pennell. I'm afraid okay. it wasn't. That's minus four, sinking down again. Oh, well, let's flash. Graham Pollock. Not Graham Pollock. That's minus four. I'm sorry. Four uh, minus yeah, four. Yeah, I can afford to be a bit flat. <laughs> <laughs> he received the first ball in a one-day international, and he all, was also the first wicket. He's the only living cricketer to have an English pub named after him. It's in Dewsbury. He's got 1,000 runs in a season for Yorkshire, 19 times. Averaged 50. Number two, Rhys Davis. Jeffrey Boycott? It is Jeffrey Boycott. Could have been, could have been born in Transvaal. Born in South Africa. No, he wasn't born in the Transvaal. He, he played, played for Transvaal. Oh. That was one point. Well done, Rhys. Which fictional character was born somewhere, probably somewhere, in the west of England? His birthday may be deducted to be the 31st of July, but it's also uncertain. Number five, Mark Lavert. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is worth a great five points. It's Godric's Hollow, isn't it? It's, oh, no, it was never said, wasn't it? <laughs> what name links? A town in Oklahoma and a crossing in Nebraska. A head in Idaho and a big in Pennsylvania. Formerly the name of the Butlin's Children's Club, of the family Castoridae, Frank Drebin described a recently stuffed version of one as... Number five, Mark Lavert. I've always wanted to say this, nice beaver. Beaver is the correct <laughs> answer. Last question of this particular round. Who pronounced the following things dead? An old man in For the World is Hollow and I Have Touched the Sky. For five points, a horned doggy in The Enemy Within. For four points, Nona in A Private Little War. For three points, Scott in The Changeling and I Mud. Number four, Hayley Waters. George C. Scott. Not George C. Scott. That's no. minus three points. Even Didn't in The Changeling? No, it didn't matter. Puts you on four points, reaches on two and three quarters with a, a two-point question coming up. Oh. Kirk in A Mock Time and Return to Tomorrow. And for one point was played by DeForest Kelly in... St Number five, Mark Lavish. Bones McCoy. McCoy is correct. So I'm afraid we're going to say goodbye to Martin and Reese, but thank you very, very much for participating. Uh, I hope you can join in again one time when we're down in this park. And uh, congratulations to Gwilym, Haley, and Mark for making the final. The score cards will be wiped clean, and we'll be playing the first 12 with three lives. We'll see you for the, the next... Three for the Sunday. third half <laughs> in like just a moment. Can we have a round of applause, please? Thank you very much.
sorry, but I just can't help it. I get buzzed. <laughs> Part three of round six, Q12, from Newport in Wales. Three Doughty contestants left, Gwilym, Haley, and Mark. Mark winning the first two rounds by a huge margin. Got to be favorite to win, but let's see what happens. In this particular round, we're playing the first 12 correct answers. Each player has three lives. Good luck, all three players. By what name was Ian Watkins of steps number five, Mark Labbert? H. H is correct. So Shame. Big fan, Sad man. One yeah. point. Oh, they link the questions on, so. Oh. What is the NATO alphabet designation for the eighth <laughs> letter? Number Hotel. five, Mark Labbert. Hotel is correct. On an original English Monopoly board, what is the price of upgrading four houses on a single site into a hotel on the orange property? Number five, Mark Labbert. Hundred pounds. One hundred pounds is correct. Sad. Three sad. points. Such a sad man, Mark. Such a sad what three-word term applied to that group of originally eight men created by Henry Fielding, the novelist and magistrate? Number five, Mark. Correct. Labbert. The Bow Street Runners. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hang of it, Mark. Well done. Well, did t they're all linking on, so it's yeah, going to be a Bow yeah. Street fi thing to the next one. As of August the 26, 2005, which Ethiopian runner held the world record for both five and ten thousand meters? <laughs> oh, I'll go for it. Highly Gabri Selassie. Yeah. That's one life. That, no, it's the other one. Bekele. Yeah. What is the capital and largest city of Ethiopia? Number five, Mark Labbert. Addis Ababa. It's the other one. Yeah. No, it's correct. Oh, good. Pronunciation is a bit dodgy on that <laughs> one, but you get it. It's only four. Might been to Doma, but. What name was given to AL two eight eight one? The 40% complete Australopithecus afarensis skeleton discovered on... Number four, Hayley Waters. Piltdown Man. Not Piltdown Man, I'm afraid. Discovered on November the 30th, 1974, at the Awash Valley of Ethiopia's Afar Depression, estimated to have lived 3.2 million years ago, the oldest discovered hominid. I'm not going to risk it. Free guess for no points. Is it Lucy? But it I is Lucy, it. yes. Yeah, unlucky. Couldn't, get, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't risk it. it. What is the lowest positive number that is not a divisor of 60? Number five, Mark Lambert. Seven. Seven is a good, brave answer. Well done. Not for a maths teacher. <laughs> what race is the seventh of nine of the tertiary adjunct of Unimatrix 01 played by... Number three, good What race? Oh. I'd say two now, couldn't I? Um, Come on. Borg? Borg is yeah. just <laughs> after 15 human, minutes. Yeah, that was, was yeah, that's <laughs> my... <laughs> We're going to Will for a score check after the next question. How many of Bjorn Borg's 11 Grand Slam titles were won outside Europe? Number five, Mark. None of them. Correct. Yeah, six in France, <laughs> five. Six in France, five in Wimbledon. Well done, Mark. Will, how, f how far has Mark got to go? Okay, Mark is on seven points, yep, so... Uh, but one penalty? Yep, one. Five, five points left to, to get to the 12, uh, one life down. Haley is one life down on zero points, and uh, Gwilym is on one point with no lines down. <sighs> Stop pressing that button. How can I swerve one of these questions for you? I'm going <laughs> to well, I'm gonna write to the people's quiz and get some questions from those guys. <laughs> okay, next one. At 5,642 metres, what is the highest point in your... Number three, oh, Willem Hyde. Uh, Mont Blanc. I'm afraid it's not. Ooh. Lose a life. What's the highest point in Europe? Mount Elbrus. Yeah. Oh, yes. 5,642 did set it away from Mount Blanc. I'm sorry about that. Which Canadian team won baseball's World Series in 1992 and 1993? Number Toronto five, Blue Mark Jays. The Toronto Blue Jays. I'm glad you got that. Which football team are nicknamed the Bluebirds? <laughs> Number three, Gwilym Owen. Cardiff. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Max on eight, Gwilym's on two, Haley's yet to score in this round. In miles of the crow flies, allowing 10% error, what is the distance between the centre spots of the Millennium Stadium and the Stade de France? The same question, allowing 20% error. 
You can give me 100%, I'm still not going to burst. The same question, giving 35% error. Number three, uh, equal amount. 200 miles? 302 miles. Just one point for Gwillem. Go on. Excluding, look, you would put one on the boundary, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Excluding Luxembourg, which we all know is a Grand Duchy, give three of the five European principalities. Number three, Gwillem Island. Uh, Monaco. Correct. Uh, I shouldn't say correct, really, just carry on. Okay. okay. Monaco, Liechtenstein. It's a kingdom, isn't it? Um, and Wales. Correct. The other two being? Andorra. Andorra, Andorra and Asturias in northern mm -hmm. Spain. Oh, yeah. well, now we know. Willem, <coughs> four points. Whoa. On September 16th, 1400, which Welshman was the... Number five, Mark Lavin. Owen Glendower. Oh, good point. Well, 14. Nine, nine points. We've drunk in that pub in our times. <laughs> In British politics and economics, what name refers to the 16th of September 1992 when the Conservative government was forced to withdraw the pound from the European exchange rate mechanism, the ERM, due to pressure by currency speculators, most notably George Soros, who made over US $1 billion from this speculation? Number three, Gwilym Iron. It's probably wrong. Is it Black Monday or something? No, it's not, is it? <laughs> Do you want to go? I think I'd know what... I, free, I'm get, free guess, no points. It's, no, well, it's Black Wednesday. But it it's Black Wednesday. It. It's uh, Black, Black Sunday. Black Sunday. Black Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Two <laughs> lives. <laughs> Hayley, you've lost one life. Matt, you only have three to go. But you have lost a life, so I can't believe you're being That's why I'm playing safe. <laughs> what original nationality was George Soros, along with Bella Bartok? <laughs> Number five, Mark Lavin. Hungarian. I'm afraid he was. Well done. One point. Well, yeah, I mean, it upsets me that he wasn't getting it. I wish he'd been bloody Polish or something. Nice to Next. have an unbiased <laughs> ref, isn't it? This is people's quiz all over again. It is people's quiz. Quiz. Ten yeah, points. He's got one wrong. Ten points. Look, we de we're deteriorating into absolute chaos. Two points to go for Matt. Good luck. If white and black are colours, what colours appear on the Hungarian flag? Hmm. Number five, Mark Lennox. Red, white and green. Absolutely great answer. I think in the circumstances, a little round of applause, because that was a brave answer. No, well, Eleven again, put the to pressure go. on. Shut just... up and get on with it. Derived from the French word for pine and black, name that grape and wine. Number five, Mark Lavin. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is 12 points, and then a stroll into the final. Well done, Mark. Well done, so that's it. The next round will be in Durham Shouldn't in two we? weeks' time. I hope that some people can attend. Uh, but if you don't, this is just one of you. Well, it's £100 in the bag, like Mike says. Easy pickings. Well played, Gwilym and Haley. Unlucky you were up against the titan of quiz at the time. And hopefully we can see you all again at some time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for participating. Uh, thanks to Will. Thanks to Jake on the cameras. And see you in two weeks in Durham. My goodness uh, with a grand total of 38 points accumulated for the first two rounds and then uh, well a cakewalk in the last round 12 points leaving the other two contestants trailing in his wake with four points and one lost life respectively they have the sumo god of quiz mr mark labette mark that was a easy test for you today well thank you i mean it was it, it was pretty easy, but then if you like, it's almost an unfair advantage in that buzzer quiz is fair to say is one of my specialities, and to use the athletics equivalent of things, you know, you, you can argue this is for sprinters, and I'm a sprinter, and I, I was up against club runners who've never practiced at this before. If you'd have taken me out of the thing, the other four were actually very competitive. It's one of the pluses and minuses of buzzer quiz is that a good player can build up a huge lead but at the same time, it, it, it distorts the final result. I wasn't that much better than my opponents. It's just I was always that tenth or a quarter of a second ahead of them. I think that's was that modesty. I, that's I, that's incredible because actually, be, be when you look at the actually written down quizzes which you do and you look at your form in other quizzes such as uh, Brain of Britain, you actually have got the quiz pedigree as well. You've got the knowledge to back the speed up. There's no two ways about it. You, I think I'm just a competitive animal that to use the, I, well, I'd like to pride myself to use the phrase, I'm, um, 
Um, I'm a prime time player to use the American basketballism. When, the, when it counts, like the juices get going and the brain kicks into gear, which is why often I don't do particularly well in individual Grand Prix, but I'm a demon in the team quizzes or whatever. Well, I hope you're looking forward to the 9th of December because you have got a little bit of competition there. There's a young man called Rob Hanley you've not come across, but he is fast and he is intelligent, and you've got the known quantities of, uh, well, obviously, Pat, Darren and Diane. Uh, a, who would you see out of that lot coming to the front? Well, I think there, I mean, you, well, Pat is a world champion and he beat me at the British Championships uh, two weeks ago, comfortably going past me in the second half. Obviously, in terms of knowledge, he's phenomenal. And obviously, if Kevin takes part, you, how can you uh, write, them, write them off? But I think there is something specific. This is a specialist area of knowledge. Mm. And speed is the key. Um, we know the harder the questions, the more it will favour Kevin and Pat because they know more than us. Mm -hmm. But if there's an element of speed of recall, at the moment, I'd have to say, I probably would keep my eye more on Peter Edis than those two simply because he's younger. He is getting better. I'd forgotten all about him as well. It flies by doing these. You know, I, I, I know I can beat him, but he is getting better. A, as well today, how would you have perceived your strategy differing had there been two or three players who were, how would you say, well-versed in buzzer quizzing and capable of answering on those? Oh, it would have been entirely different. I was playing with, with, to use the military, I was playing with safety features on. I was generally waiting till I knew the answer most of the time. Um, if there had been an, another buzzer specialist, you were, I would have been a lot more aggressive in taking the 50-50 chances. I mean, if you look, it's almost a, given my record in buzzer quizzes, normally I lead the cot tournaments for minus fives in uh, buzzer competitions, buzzing in too quickly, and I didn't make one such mistake in round one because I was playing it safe. Mm. Well, we're halfway through the series of Q12, and if we never do another one, just have the final, it looks like being a pretty awesome... Uh, awesome game which will be very much complemented and enhanced by your just Well, inclusion. I'll make something controversial. I think I'm going to win this. It's not that I'm the better quizzer, but I think, I think I've got the edge in speed. The odds will be on my website and you can have a bet on yourself. There you go, Mark. Very well done. Let's Thank have a round much. of applause for Mr. Mark Levitt. You're the man. Thank you. Thanks, Mark.